There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the electrochemistry and battery chapter introduction video. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over what kind of videos there are for this chapter. First of all, there's your 10 different syllabus dot point videos. So each of these are your syllabus dot points, so they come straight from the syllabus. And for each syllabus dot point, there's also a video. Now you can see it's different colors. The red ones are your content videos. So these are ones which cover just pure content. The green ones are your first-hand investigations. So these are your experiments you have done in class. And your blue ones are your second-hand investigations. So these are your things where you would have analyzed books or other resources to get that, to get that information. So we've got, in this case, 10 videos. Um, and what I'll do as well is I'm quickly going to go over, I'm not going to explain them in detail because I do that in the videos, but I'm going to go over them in terms of the verbs. So they have, each of them has a verb, which is really important. And that verb tells you what you need to know when it comes to that dot point. So I'll go over each by each and just show you the actual verbs of the actual syllabus dot points. So we've got here, we've got explain, that's the verb for this dot point. We've got identify for this one. We've got account for this dot point. We have describe and explain, so two verbs for this dot point. We have outline the construction of galvanic cell and trace the direction of electron flow for this one, so two here again. We have define for number six and describe as well to describe galvanic cells. Uh, perform first investigation to identify conditions under which commas again, just identify for the seven. Uh, we have measure to measure the difference in potential for number eight. Solve problems and analyze information to calculate the potential requirement of named electric chemicals. So calculate for number nine. And this one we have evaluate here. And we have compare, so comparison, so evaluate and compare. Now again, the reason why I've just unlined these is because when it comes to these verbs, this tells you what questions might be asked in the HSC exam itself, because the people who make the actual questions can only use these verbs to guide what questions they'll make. So try to understand what this actual dot point is all about, and what uh, what we've made is we've made a couple of videos to help you sort of get a grasp of those as well. Obviously, we have got the content videos, the 10 content videos, but we also have a multiple choice question video, which covers all of the past HSC multiple choice questions. We have five past HSC short answer questions. These are some that which go from the 2001 to 2011 past papers. And these five are all based on this chapter. We have the scientific term video. So here, we, in this video, we cover all scientific terms that were introduced in this chapter. These are the important ones you need to know as well. Uh, and then we have a summary video. This is, in this case, the summary videos are all between 10 to 20 minutes long. And just gives you a really a good rough outline of all of these points. Um, when it comes to the one video you also need to watch, that first video of that playlist, which is the introduction to the production of the material, of material video. Uh, I would recommend you watch that as well if you haven't watched it yet. But uh, so this is the first chapter, this is it. We've got 10 videos for the, the content. We've got a couple of multiple choice and short answer question videos and a scientific term and a summary video as well. If you have any comments, any feedback, any questions, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below for any videos and we'll try to answer it as fast as possible. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.